Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel Code is Arcade. I am Nisirga. In today's video, we will be seeing another concept in Tally that is credit operation. Before moving to the problem, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon for future updates or notification. So what do you mean by credit operation? Credit operation means performing any money transaction. That means it includes both creditor and sundry debtor. For example, if we purchase any asset such as computer, furniture or vehicle from any person or from any other company and if we don't make the payment immediately and where we are liable to make the same payment later on, it is known as sundry creditor. And sundry data means if we sell any asset like furniture, computer, plant and machinery or vehicle, if we sell those assets and if we don't receive the payment immediately, it is known as sundry data. So this is credit operation problem. So pause the video and make a note of this problem. Runway started a business with 10 lakh rupees. Make a note of this problem. You will be getting a clear idea about this credit operation while solving the problem. So let us begin. So first thing in tally is as you know that we have to create a company all plus F3. Press all plus F3 create company. Ranveer. Address. State Karnataka and fill the details. You all know that. So press Ctrl plus A. Now the company is created. Press Escape. Go to Accounts Info. Go to Ledgers. Go to Multiple Ledgers and create. Press Enter. Select all items. And first uh, transaction is that Ranveer. Because he is the owner of the company, he comes under capital account. Cash deposited into SBI. So SBI bank account. Office expenses. Indirect expenses. Computer. Fixed asset. Furniture, fixed asset and you can see in the transaction that computer purchase from triple R technology, triple R technology it comes under sundry credit card because we are purchasing the asset. Furniture purchase from Surabi Traders. Surabi Traders. Sundry Creator. If a company purchase any assets, it comes under Sundry Creators. Donation received. Indirect income. Cash pay to Triple R Technology. We have already created the ledger Triple R Technology. Cash pay to Cerebi Traders. Cerebi Traders ledger is also created. Depreciation on computer. Depreciation. It comes under indirect expenses. Cash withdrawn from SBI. SBI account is already created, ledger is already created, cash paid to Navya, so Navya comes under sundry creditor because since we are paying the amount, next cash received from Navya, we have already created that ledger, computer was sold to Pranita with 85% profit, so Pranita comes under sundry data 
because you can see in the next next transaction that cash from pranita we are receiving the amount so pranita comes under sundry debtor press enter and accept this press escape go to accounting voucher first transaction we have to enter in receipt voucher press f6 select cash runway amount is 10 lakh press enter and accept this cash deposited into spi this is cash and bank transaction so it should be entered in contra voucher press f4 account select spi and cash since we are depositing cash into spi account so amount is 45000 you don't need to give denominations accept this voucher next transaction is that computer purchased from triple or technology so as i said before it should be entered in journal voucher press f7 so computer purchased from triple or technology by computer account 27000 to triple o technology 27000 select on account and accept this voucher next transaction is that furniture purchased from surabi traders it should also be entered in journal voucher select furniture 20000 furniture 20000 to surabi traders and select on account accept this voucher cash paid to triple o technology it should be entered in payment voucher since we are paying the amount press f5 select cash triple o technology amount 27000 press enter select on account press enter enter and accept this voucher next cash paid to surabi traders select cash surabi traders 20000 press enter select on account and accept this uh before cash paid to triple o technology we left out with donation received through bank so it should be entered in receipt voucher press f6 select sbi bank donation received donation received amount 23000 press enter and accept this next depreciation on computer it should also be entered in journal voucher by depreciation account amount 3500 to depreciation on computer accept this next cash withdrawn from spi go to f4 contra voucher cash withdrawn from sbi since we are withdrawing the cash select cash and year sbi and the amount is 30000 press enter enter and accept this cash paid to navya it should be entered in payment voucher because we are paying the cash payment voucher is f5 cash now we amount 35000 press enter select on account and accept this next transaction cash received from navya 
50% only. It should be entered in receipt voucher. Press F6. Cash. Now, yeah. Here, we have to make, we have to calculate that the cash received from Navya 50% only. Press Ctrl plus N. So, we are paying the cash 35,000. So, 35,000 into 50%. Seventeen thousand five hundred. Press Control plus M and just enter the amount seventeen thousand five hundred. Select on account and accept this voucher. Next transaction is that computer was sold to Pranita with eighty five percent. It should be entered in journal voucher. Press F seven by Computer account. We have to make some calculations. We have to do some calculation. That is press control plus N. A purchase amount of computer is that 27,000. And there is also depreciation. Deduct the depreciation 27,000 minus 3,500. That is 23,500. 23,500 into 85% profit that is 19,975. Now add these two 23,500 plus 19,975 and the amount is 43,475. Press Ctrl plus M. Enter the amount 43,475. To Pranita. Press Enter. Select on account. And accept this. Next cash from Pranita. We are receiving the amount from Pranita. So it should be entered in receipt voucher. Press F6. Select cash. Pranita amount 43,475. Select on account and press enter. Now we have done with all the transaction. Press escape and go to balance sheet. So here the profit and loss account is 95,500. It is on liability side. So we can say that the company is in the state of profit. And the net profit is 19,500, indirect expenses depreciation and indirect income donation received. And you can also see your current liabilities, sundry credit are and fixed assets, computer and furniture. That's all about credit operation guys. And in the next video, I will be explaining about inventory management. So please subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon for future updates or notification. Thank you.